This is Optimal Health Daily, Episode 74. Help, My Significant Other Doesn't Want to Get Healthy, Part 2, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hello there. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Optimal Health Daily. This is one of three podcasts where we read to you from blogs for free so that you don't have to read them yourself, except on Fridays. This is where I actually answer your questions, one of my favorite parts of this show. So if you send in a question, you're actually entered into small raffles to win books, but I'll tell you more about that at the end of the show. Here's today's inspirational quote. Accept no one's definition of your life, but define yourself. Harvey Firestein. Now, before I get into the post today, recall that this is a continuation from yesterday. So if you didn't hear yesterday's post in episode 73, you'll probably want to hear that first. All right, with that, let's continue this post as we optimize your life. Help, My Significant Other Doesn't Want to Get Healthy, Part 2, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Now, as promised, here are some tips to make sure you are ready to help when they're interested in changing. Number one, just get the conversation started. Thanks to Rummet for inspiration on this one. Here are some examples. Quote, hey, I've been trying to lose some weight lately. What do you think about the paleo diet? Or, quote, I've been reading this kick website called Nerd Fitness lately, and it has me thinking about how I want to make better habits. Are there any bad habits of mine you'd like me to change? Yep, this is you throwing yourself under the bus, but at least it gets the conversation started. Two, constantly ask their advice and support on being healthier. The goal is to get them talking about making healthier decisions and make it more and more comfortable to bring up the conversation in the future. When you find interesting articles about healthier living, share it with them and ask for their opinion. Three, use me as the bad guy. Quote, hey, I read about this idea for habit change on nerd fitness. Seems like it's a little ridiculous, but what do you think? Four, Try something together. Quote, hey, fill in the blank, seems like a cool experiment, but I'm worried that I can't follow through with it by myself. Can we try this 30-day challenge together? I know you can help me stay on track. Five, to borrow another quote from the film Inception, positive emotion trumps negative emotion every time. If they start making changes and you can notice a change no matter how small, comments like, did you lose weight? You look great. Whatever you're doing, keep it up, will go a long way. Become your significant other's biggest cheerleader and supporter. If you're constantly having an open discussion about health and wellness, sharing tips, asking for opinions and advice, hopefully you'll get to the point where one day your significant other comes to you with an idea of their own that they're going to, quote, try to lose a few pounds and try this, quote, getting healthy thing. Build your team. Once you've explained that you're working on improving your life, you may still face pushback. Getting your significant other on your team is essential. If you're constantly trying to eat new types of food, to cook instead of getting fast food, or doing more active things and spending less time with your significant other, it can lead to hurt feelings and poor results, and we don't want that. Instead, you need to get your loved one on your team. You have a few options here. One, set a reward. Explain that you're in a weight loss competition at work and the winner gets $500. This would be a good time to start a competition at work. And if you win, you'll be spending that money on a romantic getaway for the two of you. Suddenly, they're working with you to win that getaway rather than sabotaging you with hurt feelings, a puss in boots face, you know, the one with the big pupils, pizza hut, and ice cream. Two, find ways to be active together. Explain that you really need help staying on track, so you'd like to exercise together. Find activities that you both can do together, but don't limit it to working out. Try hikes in the woods or a park, a salsa dancing class, karate class, a yoga class, and so on. Three, create a reward system with each other. If you have a significant other that is already interested in getting healthier, spend an hour with each other creating a fun spreadsheet of rewards for each other, keeping it as innocent or not innocent as you want. Your call. For example, Every time either of you loses a few pounds, you get a 30-minute massage or foot rub. Or when you collectively lose a certain amount of weight, 
you get a special date night at your favorite restaurant. Or think of it like turning your life into a video game, except with way cooler joint rewards. Be a role model, not a dreamer. While you're trying to better yourself, until your significant other has fully jumped on board with the idea, you'll face a barrage of well-intentioned but incredibly destructive comments like, skip your run this morning and sleep in, or want to sit on the couch and watch TV tonight, or why are you trying to change? I like you just the way you are. Your response needs to be something along the lines of, quote, honey, pumpkin, muffin, moon pie, I'm not doing this for you. I need to do this for me, and I need your support. You need to become Captain America, the inspirational and motivational person that will inspire them to want to change. Here's how you can get started. One, volunteer to do the shopping and cooking. Cook meals as often as possible and do what you can to make them healthy. Two, politely but firmly decline invitations for sweets, desserts, and other unhealthy snacks. Don't judge if he or she eats dessert, but you do not have to eat poorly just because they do. And three, become a superhero that always picks healthy options over unhealthy ones with a loving smile. Remember, you're not doing this for him or her. You're doing it for you and your friends and family. Having a loving saboteur in your house will make this a challenge every day, which is why a support team, either offline or online, is so vitally important. You just listened to part two of the post titled, Help. My Significant Other Doesn't Want to Get Healthy by Steve Camp of nerdfitness.com. Now, yesterday I mentioned this idea of motivational interviewing, which is essentially what Steve is alluding to here in his last two posts. There are a couple of key concepts when it comes to motivational interviewing. Let the other person think as though the idea is coming from them. So what Steve alluded to as kind of inception, he's actually right on the money with this. Don't tell a person what to do but make it as if the idea is originating from their own minds. The value in doing that is they're gonna be automatically more motivated to change just because the idea now came from them and not you. And second, if you can get that other person kind of on board and giving you suggestions for how you can improve yourself, they're already invested now. It's their way of saying yes. Now they're gonna be more likely to join you and change their habits. Now, like I mentioned at the top of the show, I answer your questions every Friday in a special Q&A episode. This is my favorite part of the show, so definitely keep sending in those questions. To do so, just come by oldpodcast.com. There's a red bar along the side of the website that says, ask a health question. If you click on that, you can record a question and send it in. It's totally free, and it can be about diet, nutrition, fitness, disease prevention, anything along those lines, and it's super easy to do. Or you can call in your question. The number is 61-I-LOVE-O-H-D. Either way works just fine. And if you do send in an audio question, you'll be automatically entered in special raffles every month to win books from us. And if you can believe it, that wraps up 74 episodes. I'll see you on tomorrow's Q&A episode where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show, and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one, literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.